Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 867 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today, we're going to talk about a bunch of marketing tools that I use regularly. Many of them are cheap. Many of them are free, but they really, really increase your productivity and allow you to do things you couldn't do by hand or that would cost you a fortune if you had to farm them out. All right, so make sure you uh, pick up a copy of our automation ebook at screwthecommute.com slash automate free and check out my mentor program, the longest running, most unique, most successful ever in the field of internet and digital marketing, over 1,800 students in the past uh, 24 years or so. <laughs> All right, so uh, so check it out, greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. All right, so here's a bunch of the tools, and I don't use them every day, but uh, and I'm going to categorize them for you, so grab what you want. All right, let's start with audio stuff. I use Adobe Audition to edit these podcasts. However, you can use Audacity, which is free. I mean, Audition cost me $20 a month, but it's, you know, it's a pretty fancy uh, program. Uh, also another audio thing we use is called speak pipe. And I really want you to try it out. Go to my website, antion.com, and you'll see a little blue thing that says, leave a voicemail. You can click on it, talk into your computer and it sends me an email and I hear what you said. It's like a, an online voicemail. And then I can click another thing and leave you, a, uh, send you a message back verbally. All right. So pretty cool. Speak pipe, either I think it's either free or super cheap. All right, some video stuff. I use Camtasia as a screen capture video. Uh, now going on 24 years, I've been using it in all its different versions, and it allows you to... I have whole episodes on screen capture stuff. But anyway, you can capture what's on your screen, narrate what you're seeing, and sell that as training or customer service, all kinds of stuff you can do. I just love uh, screen capture. Another uh, program is called Handbrake. Handbrake, B-R-A-K-E. It's a free program and it allows you to convert videos from one format to another. For instance, when you take a iPhone video, it's a .mov a lot of times, and then you can convert it to MP4, which is the standard everybody can use and stuff. So there's that. Now we got Reflector. I used to use three, and now it's up to four. This allows you to capture the screen off of your cell phone to make demonstration videos of what people are seeing on their cell phones. That's uh, Reflector 4 is now out now, I'm pretty sure. All right, I got a big list of stuff here I want to tell you about. Adobe Premiere is a really high-end editing program. I only know how to do little bits of stuff on it, but if I need something really important... I use Adobe Premiere, or I turn it over to Mark, my video guy, who uses uh, Final Cut Pro. Animoto is something I don't use uh, anymore because we do so much custom stuff, but but you can just load up some pictures and stuff, and it'll create a marketing video for you. <laughs> uh, and if you don't like it, you hit the button, and it redoes the whole thing, and music and everything. Uh, here's a free thing you everybody should have, VLC, Victor Lima Charlie, media player. It's a free media player that plays just, if you can't get something to work, usually if you put it in the VLC, it'll play. It'll play like any kind of media. Uh, let's see. Now, we don't use any uh, more Easy Video Suite. It's been discontinued, so that's off the list from the last time I did this marketing thing. Okay, let's uh, look at word processing. We use uh, Word and Notepad like crazy. If you're on a Mac, you might use, uh, I think it's called Pages. And then we have a uh, Grammarly uh, plugin so that it uh, underlines things that it says is misspelled or wrong punctuation and just makes it so fast to fix things up, you know, so uh, Grammarly. All right, graphic stuff. Oh, I just love this one. It's called iPicky, I-P-I-C-C-Y. Totally free. I don't even think I ever had to sign up for it. But once you learn how to use it, it's just I do. Uh, anytime you see a Facebook story of mine or any kind of graphics, I made it in e uh, iPicky. 
It's way uh, easier. It'll do all kinds of stuff, but it's way easier than Photoshop. Uh, PowerPoint we use uh, to make some graphics sometimes. Uh, Pinterest pins and, and other graphics. So we use that sometimes because it's already have it. Uh, Tailwind is uh, also for making Pinterest pins and to schedule pins for Pinterest. Tailwind. And we use the snipping tool all the time on our uh, Mac, or excuse me, on our PC. I don't know what it is on a Mac, but it just does screen capture. So we can, if I need to grab something and make a graphic out of it or send it to somebody to show them something, uh, we use a snipping tool. Uh, you can use Snagit. I think that's uh, one that comes with um, Camtasia, if you happen to get Camtasia. Canva we use for book covers. I used to make them from scratch or hire them, but they've got, I think, 700 or more st uh, sample book covers that you can just change the name and move the graphics around a little bit and make uh, custom book covers. All my latest books were from Canva free book covers. And I hate to say that because one of my good friends was a $2,500 minimum graphic person to make book covers. And, you know, the a lot of these people are going to tell you, well, it's got to be this and that, and you got to have this woo-woo, yeah, this and that. Well, yeah, I'd rather just make money in a hurry. How about that? <laughs> right, so, and you can, you, could find, you can test 10 different book covers for free. Uh, clipart.com is where I get almost all my clip art, cartoons, things like that. It's a paid service. I think I pay it yearly so that I don't have to worry about copyright infringement. And that's a big, big issue. You can get sued for copyright infringement. And how do I know this? <laughs> All right. Yeah, a long time ago, I got a federal lawsuit when I had my nightclub just on a song, one song. So uh, you don't want to mess with that. So clipart.com. And also, you got to make sure that if you're having web people do work for you, they're not stealing graphics, and then they disappear, and you're the one that gets sued. Okay, so you got to be extra careful with that, even if you're farming out the work. Okay, Kindle Create we use for formatting Kindle eBooks. It's free for either Mac or PC. Amazon is happy to give it to you, and uh, it'll also format your print-on-demand books for you too. And then for QR codes, we happen to use Scanova, S-C-A-N-O-V-A, and that's something you should be taking advantage of. There's lots of free free ones out there. I'm not saying you got to use a paid service, but it'll do fancier stuff and color and all kinds of stuff. But you should be using QR codes, and I've got episodes about that. All right, let's see, website stuff. We use Thrive Themes and Thrive Architect Content Builders. Well, most virtually all my students, that's what they use. WordPress is the gold standard. Don't let anybody talk you into this crap you see on TV. WordPress is the gold standard. Um, and then we do have photo. Uh, Mark has Photoshop. Uh, we definitely use Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Premiere for uh, video stuff. Okay, what else we got? Uh, for email, I use a lot of Gmail now. I was totally Outlook for, for years. But uh, when Rackspace, I think it's Rackspace, had a big problem, uh, I kind of got switched to Gmail, and I use it quite a bit now for my personal correspondence. But um, you, you kind of want to have an email that has your domain name in it. If, if you're really coming up through the ranks, you want to promote the domain name. I got so many domain names, I don't know which one to use. Um, let's see. Live stuff, uh, we use um, Zoom, uh, but and we used to use Be Live, and now we use StreamYard, which has been uh, all kinds of new features on it, and it's relatively easy to use. So we use StreamYard for live uh, events, um, and there's a there's a thing called Irion, I R I U N, and it turns your cell phone into a webcam. Now. I only use that once in a blue moon, but it is not good to know that such things exist if you need to make your uh, cell phone into a webcam. Uh, Team Viewer, Join.me are ones that we use to take over our students' screens to help them. So some of them, we can take access to your screen. 
uh, your computer and while you're sitting there watching, we show you, we do the work for you. And sometimes we just want to see what you're doing. But uh, team viewer and join.me are those kinds of things. Okay, let's see. Uh, still, we have Skype also because even some of the biggest podcasts, I don't know why, but they still use Skype. So, so we've got Skype. Okay, security stuff and backups. Well, uh, if you've ever heard of a VPN, I've got episodes on that. That's a virtual private network that kind of anonymizes what you're doing on the web so that you can't be spied on easily. Uh, it does slow down your computer a little bit to go through a VPN. but uh, And it's something like in certain countries, like I had some students in China that weren't allowed to go to certain websites. But if they go through a VPN, uh, they can't get caught doing that or you know nobody can spy on them doing it. Then uh, you got to use some type of password manager. I use RoboForm. I've used it for many, many years. It's got hundreds and hundreds of passwords and user IDs, and it's one-click login. You can click on eBay, and it'll go to eBay and put your user ID and password in. And then you can have it even to go, which you can use it on a kiosk, and then it wipes itself clean if you're traveling. You know, have it on a thumb drive. So there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with that and uh, keep you safe. And... Uh, Let's see, we use uh, different uh, Dropbox, iCloud, Carbonite, backup stuff. We use Amazon S3 for our big video files, and it's super dirt cheap and high quality. So it's just if you have an Amazon account, you just ask for, uh, you know, just type in Amazon S3, and you can just log into it separately and, and use it and learn how to use it. Uh, copywriting, uh, we use Fresh Title as my secret weapon. And, um, and then, of course, copywriting. I have a whole course on at copywriting901.com, which is the number one skill. I just saw some other big guru come out and say that today. You know, I get hundreds of emails a day. He says, the number one skill in, in your career, and it was copywriting. You can't depend on chat GPT, you know, or artificial intelligence. You have to have some of your own intelligence and, and uh, write your copy because it's extremely expensive to pay for it. And guess what? Some of the professional copywriters are going to charge you a fortune and then go generate it with ChatGPT anyway. <laughs> so so uh, it's way more to it than just slapping out some stuff. You have to be able to split test it. You have to know your audience and things like that. So you can't depend on artificial intelligence for that. In fact, I've been calling it artificial insemination because you get screwed <laughs> before, <laughs> if you use it too much. Okay, some automation stuff. Well, you have uh, sites like Audience, Buffer, Hootsuite, Meet Edgar. These are where you can put it in a bunch of stuff and it'll, you know, I know social media drives people crazy. So you put a bunch of stuff in and you can schedule them to go to the different services at different times. And then if you run out of stuff, it'll go take something old and put it out there for you that people forgot about and so forth. So those kind of plays. Um, we use Stealth Seminar. Uh, if you go to hybridwebinars.com, that's my affiliate link. That's the number one gold standard for webinar replays. And so when you see one of my webinar replays, it's going through Stealth Seminar. Or um, hybrid, uh, hybrid Webinars is just my term that I invented because I, I was one of the, probably the first one, but one of the first ones that started doing uh, replays, but I'm there live to answer questions. That's why I call them hybrids. So I don't have to do all the work of doing the webinar again, but I'm there answering questions for people live. And so I promote it like that and I called it hybrid webinars and it kind of caught on. So it's hybridwebinars.com. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, ManyChat is a, a, a bot that goes with Facebook and we may have just canceled it because, um, in the beginning, just like with Facebook, they suck you in to try to get a whole people on it and then to reach the people that are on your chat bot, then they start charging you. You know, so uh, I, I could see it coming. So I never put a lot of stock into it, even though a lot of customer service, in fact, I think they said by the end of the this year, 85% of customer service is done by chat bots. 
You know, so it's good to have a chat bot, but I can't get behind many chat anymore. Now, short keys is something that I am absolutely in love with. I've been using it since 1977, and it has saved me, we estimated, 8 million keystrokes. This is called a macro program where you can type a couple letters and it'll type in a whole bunch of pre-programmed stuff for you. Just crazy good. Make sure you uh, download my automation ebook because it's one of the featured programs in there. I think it cost me 20 bucks one time. 20 bucks to save me 8 million keystrokes. And that actually made me money because all the time I'd have been fighting with my computer, I was helping customers and selling stuff. See, that's where the money is. And of course, Kickstart Cart is our lifeblood of everything around here. It's the uh, shopping cart system, the coupons, the upsells, the broadcast, the autoresponders, all in one place. And a mere mortal can actually use it. Uh, and it'll do uh, 90% of what co programs that are three or four times the cost per month. So uh, that's why... Uh, um, I've been using it for now uh, 22 years, something like that, and had uh, several thousand people doing it because we give unlimited one-on-one -on -one tutoring on it too to teach you how to use it because I want you to know how to use it if you're going to bother investing in it. So that's kickstartcart.com. Uh, let's see. E, uh, talked about email. Let's see. Miscellaneous stuff. What I got under that category? Oh, Zello is like an online walkie-talkie that you can use with your remote employees. So instead of texting and phoning and emailing, it's like a walkie-talkie. Hey, Larry, what's uh, I need help with so-and-so. Then I let up on the button. Hey, Tom, what do you need? You know, it's that quick. Uh, let's see. You got pixel helpers if you're doing some online advertising. You should learn how to use a speed test. I do get a lot of complaints from my um, students and everybody, really, about their internet connections. And so I say, you got to uh, you know, get a handle on this. You have to, first of all, uh, one lady, you know, doesn't like the uh, to, to run a cord. It doesn't look nice on her floor. <laughs> so, but her... Her internet sucks, and so the, you're always going to get the highest speed if you plug in directly to your, um, you know, to your modem or your your Wi-Fi, uh, you know, thing. Uh, so, but if you don't, you have to, uh, you, you got to make sure you're getting a, a decent signal, and it can change, especially if you're on cable, rather than fiber optics like fios is like it's it doesn't have any trouble it's buried underground and it, there's nobody else on on it that uh, is going to bother you but cable the more people that are on it the slower things go so i i told her hey do us uh, five six times a day different time make a log and do the speed test so you just go to like speedtest.net hit a button and it'll tell you your upload and download speeds and you'll be amazed Sometimes it's worse than old AOL dial-up. You know, I'm harping on this because it's such a hassle for people and they don't know that they need to be bitching at their, uh, you know, their cable provider. But unless they have some evidence, they're just going to blow you off. But if you have a log for a couple weeks saying, okay, uh, here's the speeds I've been getting and I'm paying for these other speeds, then uh, you got a leg to stand on. But you can't have stuff quitting on you in the middle and when you're trying to do a live event or, you know, you're trying to download and upload stuff. You can't, you got to have a fast connection. Okay, let's see. What else? Pretty Links. This is a link cloaking plugin. Uh, I think it's for WordPress only, but I don't know. It might be for other things. But you got to have a link cloaker because if you want to do affiliate marketing, a lot of places you can't put a weird, crazy, wild looking link in. So this makes a, a crazy, wild-looking link look like a, a normal link, and then you get accepted. So uh, if you see some of my stories when I'm promoting these uh, these summits, like the last one was BS, uh, you know, screwthecommute.com/slash BSS, and that was Book Sales Summit. Well, 
the actual link was like five, five times longer, weird looking thing with question marks and, you know, F, F equals affiliate equals and a, and a bunch of numbers. And you can't put that in, you know, in small graphics or even say them on a podcast like now. I just told you, screw the community.com slash BSS. Now it's no good now because the summit's over, but uh, you see, I can say that. You can listen to it and write it down and go go to the summit. Right? All right, another thing we do is uh, Riddle, which is a quiz uh, program. So I have a, a quiz like at my school, imtcva.org slash quiz, and it's the uh, like the seven college ripoff quiz that show you how colleges are ripping you off. So uh, quizzes are great. Get, people love them. Gets a lot of traffic and opt-ins and stuff like that. Now, Roku, R-O-K-U, is uh, where we're on television. So we're on the Roku channel. It's called the Public Speaking Channel as part of Roku. So go subscribe to it if you're on Roku, and you'll get $100,000 worth of my training for free. Now, Bidnapper is something myself and my girlfriend really likes. I just saw her walking through there. Uh, <laughs> because on eBay, uh, you know, if you should never bid on eBay ever, because all you're doing is jacking up the competition and raising the co the final cost. So bid napper is something that you can put what you're willing, to, your maximum you're willing to bid, and put it in bid napper. And at the last possible electronic uh, second of the auction, it will bid for you. And you'll only pay like the, a little bit over the last bid before you. You don't even pay your maximum. So I've had all kinds of winning things on Bidnapper for cheaper prices because I didn't jack up all the bids. And I bid it at the last second and nobody knew I existed until WAP, I, I, I won the thing. Okay, let's see. Expert Click, that's a press release uh, service, and uh, more, it's way more than that, but you can get in touch with Mitch Davis if you go to expertclick.com and get one of their packages because it's got an, a full-time blog, and he's, he's really ingrained in the media in Washington, D.C., where a lot of the major uh, people are, and so he's got this press release service, and everything is really good. And then, of course, Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, is where it used to be five bucks for stuff. And now they start at five bucks, but you, know, you can buy way more expensive stuff there, too. But a lot of times you can get graphics custom made. And I mean, you can't uh, believe I got the 30 second commercial for my school for five bucks. <laughs> all right. From a professional voiceover artist. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff there. So it's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. And uh, let's see, don't forget to check out my mentor program, greatinternetmarketingtraining.com, longest running, most successful, most unique ever in the field of internet and digital marketing. It's all one-on-one. -on -one. We never uh, lump you in with a bunch of people because uh, we tried that one time to get the cost down for the students because, um, but I quit because I had to dummy things down to the lowest common denominator, you know, so you're lumped in with either people people more experienced or less experienced and then i got a wishy-washy stuff so no so now i went back to it's all one-on-one -on -one with myself and the rest of my crew that uh, we to you take over your screen help you you know you got me for the big marketing ideas and and shopping cart training and it's all one-on-one -on -one, so you're not lumped in with people you know so and it doesn't matter where you are if you're advanced i talk to you in an advanced manner if you're a beginner I talked in a beginner manner, and we don't hurt your feelings and make you feel dumb like a lot of these geeks do. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get back to some of the things. We use Linktree because on Instagram, you can only have one link in your bio, So we, but there's so many things that I do. Uh, if you click that, it takes you to my Linktree, and it shows you a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's very handy. It's a couple dollars a month. Uh, we use Jack Prince for printed stuff. We use Outbrain for, uh, you know, if it's some really general big uh, advertising promotion, it's pay-per-click Outbrain. So you show up on all kinds of big sites. Uh, we use Sonics uh, uh, in the, for uh, transcriptions. 
Uh, let's see. We use Wufu. It's a, a form builder, W-U-F-O-O. And like, for instance, we have this thing where you can apply to have a strategy session with me. And it's a marketing tool for me. It's not a big sales thing where I, you know, hammer you to death to, to get in my program, but it is, it does pre-qualify you and gives me tons of information so I can help you better. Uh, so that's at screwthecommute.com slash application. And so, yeah, if you really want to, you know, if you, if you play with the thing just, and you don't really want to talk to me and consider getting in my program, just write test. Uh, and then I'll know that, you know, you're just checking it out, but it's a form builder. So you'll see all the kinds of cool questions you can ask and answers, uh, with Wufu, uh, by going to screwthecommute.com slash application. And if you really want to do it and you're serious and you want to get in my program, this is a good place to start to make sure that we're a good fit and you can afford it. And, uh, I can afford to take the time with you. I got to see what you're all about. And then uh, lastly on this list, I mean, this is not by means the overall, I'm, I'm sure I missed some stuff, but but uh, wetransfer.com is a site we use all the time. And it's uh, a site that uh, you can transfer files up to two gigabytes for free. And we do have to do it all the time when I have to send video stuff to my uh, mark for editing or you know, we got to send files to a student or they have to send them to me. Uh, it's too big to attach to an email. Uh, then we use wetransfer.com. All right, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So uh, uh, check out a lot of these things. If, they, if you need help in a certain area, you got all these areas to pick from. Productivity, audio, video, uh, graphics, word processing, website stuff, and... Um, and some cool, uh, like speak pipe, some cool things to throw on your site that uh, all uh, help the productivity and uh, help you make money online. All right, we will catch you on the next episode. See you later.